image is worth a thousand words and if your blog post comes with good featured image it helps you creating powerful first impression for your content it definitely makes you getting more social shares more traffic from image search engine and you can get your point across in just few seconds and i'm sure you know what is the proper format to save image for your content or do you hi this is adnan and in this post i will explain how to create stunning blog post image that stands out and the proper format to save it for your content select new file select web and we put 800 pixel width and 600 pixel height and orientation is landscape we are going with this size mostly our content now opens on the mobile screen if you keep length and height more than that it will cover the entire space on the screen keep resolution 72 and click ok click create unlock this layer and we are up in the image I have downloaded for this post now control A control C and control V now control press control T and control 0 to fit in the screen click OK you can adjust the picture Now we are going to add the design element, select pen tool, shape, select this one, we are going with this color, select now we have to put our text make sure to keep the text in separate layers so we can edit them separately Now select all of these layers and line vertical left. Now we have to align them horizontally also. Select both this layer and press Ctrl G to group them. Now we are changing. Let's make it bold. Because I am going to emphasize the 80 plus and extra money let's change its color also alt backspace and 80 plus we are going to emphasize on 80 plus and extra money press ctrl 3 and make it a little bit bigger yeah this looks good now uh, why i selected this picture because it is resonating with the title of our blog post and you can see i have picked red color because it shows the strength and power now 
or some that color look up. These are it comes with LUTs and press right arrow key to change the LUTs and see which one looks better. Now this looks better. What if we keep this this area I want to remove this select this one and press mask this layer select black brush yeah it re removes this the LUT we have put over here from this area and keep it on this area Now you can adjust its opacity. Yeah, this looks fine. Make sure to keep the text in alignment. And you can put your site here. Just a size, make it regular or whatever you like. And take the rectangle to now select move tool, control D, and adjust this while pressing control key. looks but now it's opacity you can put your side here now we can see this looks perfect and there is a harmony between this color this image and this text the, yeah this is a there is a contrast between the text now we have to save this file press Control Shift Alt and W. Mostly we save. Uh, yep, we mostly confused uh, whether to save it for PNG in PNG file or JPG file. Let's we save both of them. PNG export all. PNG image. Save. now again press ctrl shift alt and w this is a export xbox it also can, you can go to file export and export as or you can press ctrl shift alt and w now select jpg export all jpg image now you now we have to look the size of this image PNG image comes with 3, 333 KB and JPG comes with only 189 so PNG actually is a lossless compression, compression and JPG is a lossy compression you may uh, lose some of your details but it is perfect for when you are working with for web only and one last thing when you press ctrl shift alt and w make sure to keep check this color space srgb and it works perfect for the web browser and mostly we use srgb color space when we are working for web i have summarized the content of this video make sure to keep the image size 800 by 600 pixel select image and color as per your blog niche and try to create the contrast between your text save image in jpg format and while keeping the color space as rgb as you click the ctrl or shift w it will open up the export as box and 
you can where you can select jpg format and make sure to click the srgb color space so this is how you can make the perfect image for your blog post i hope you enjoyed the video if you have anything to share i would love to hear from you in the comment section below and before you leave don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything thanks so much for watching see you guys in the next video